Hi friends, welcome, welcome back. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. And thank you so much to my subscribers. I am so grateful for each and every one of you guys. So this morning, I wanted to bring to you a solution to a problem I've had. So I use my iPad for all of my Cricut projects and I have had such a hard time getting fonts from other places like the font.com on to my program so that I can use it on Cricut. Now I spent hours trying to figure this out and I had no luck. I tried so many different things, watched so many videos, followed so many things. Now, when I was looking on Pinterest, I saw a lot of people using this app. So that's what I decided to use. Now, please know I have no affiliation with this app. I um, don't get any money from them, any kickback. This app costs $1.99. It's one of the best $1.99s I've spent. So last night I was working on a Tumblr and when I pulled up the font, it was just a reminder to me that I had had a challenge in the past with this and I thought that I would show you in case you're having the same challenge. Now I do have a couple really fun tumblers coming up. They're finishing and I should be adding them to um, the videos to them very shortly and I'm super excited for them. And then also I finished the tumbler for the 1K giveaway and I'm not gonna show the video on it until she tells me that she's received it because I want it to be a surprise for her. I hope she loves it. So, okay, so back to what we were doing. So I went to my app store and I pulled up, it's called Any Font. So I pulled up Any Font and this is how it comes up. So this thousand font in app purchase, I did that it was 99 cents because I wanted to see what all was on it. I haven't even gone through it before. You don't have to do that. So this is $1.99. And so it comes up, you hit the plus sign and it gives you some different font options. So I'm going to go to defot.com. I like to use that. Now, with defont.com is free and um then you can go through like themes new fonts you can go through and like just there's so many fonts on here so you just go you pick a font that you like let's we're just gonna do this yellow rabbit when you find a font that you like you hit download and there you go done finish downloading okay so now I'm gonna go up here and hit close and I am back to here and I have yellow rabbit, okay? And beside yellow rabbit, there's an arrow that does not have a check mark. So I'm gonna hit the check mark and then tap to install. I'm gonna allow close. So now I need my settings. So I'm going to pull up my settings and it says profile downloaded. So I'm going to hit that. I'm going to hit install. It's going to ask me for my passcode. I'm going to hit next, install, install, and it's done. So now if I look at any font, there's now a check beside the arrow. And now I'm gonna to go to Cricut. I'm going to go to text. Now these texts are gonna come up, you have to hit all. And we're gonna put in yellow rabbit. So yellow rabbit's not coming up yet. Sometimes it'll automatically come up. Sometimes you have to go in and you have to just sign out. And then just sign back in. Sorry, I'm going to do my face with this. So, and it doesn't like my glasses. It's not taking it. 
All right, so now I'm signed back in. Sorry about that. So now let's go to text. We'll go to all and there's my yellow rabbit. So now I can use it and there it is. And it's as simple as that. And one of the nice things also is with this, if you're like, what was the name of that? You can just go here. You don't have to search through a bunch of fonts. You can go through them and find what you want, look at the name, and then go into Cricut and add it. So it's as simple as that. And that's how I have figured out to be able to utilize other fonts with my Cricut program. I hope that this was helpful to you. And if you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up and uh, look out for the tumblers I have coming. And thank you again and have a blessed and beautiful day.